<laughs> that thing is so cool. Right? It's awesome. Very awesome. Is it cool having a uh, seeing yourself in a game? It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I can't wait to to the next step. Uh, you know the. Yeah. Because it's gonna be that cool style that, that that's on there. So. But yeah, I mean, you know, a while ago we had done, um, we had done, uh, app game, like almost like, you know, where you had to, I don't know. It, it's been awesome. Everything's been surreal and awesome that between the comic books from, uh, when Kevin started writing the comic books and we were in comic books to, uh, our first action figure, um, the old school one. I mean, now we have a few, but I mean, back then and then to be a Funko pop, um, it's awesome. I mean, it's been amazing and surreal, man. Twenty something years of of craziness. So you got a lot of a lot of cool DC in the background. Did you read the Dark Knight's Metal series? I haven't. I haven't. I haven't read books, honestly. In in a, a at least a. I mean, I re start reading like when I'm on a plane, I'll start reading a book and stuff, but then I'll fall asleep. Um, <laughs> be, not because of the book is boring or anything, just because I've like trained myself. I travel a lot, so. And I don't like being on planes as much as I travel. I still get like anxiety. So like I've sort of um, tr trained myself to sleep. So now like I'll start, I'll get on a plane. A lot of times I'll fall asleep before we even take off because I'll, I'll stay up late or I'll just really try to, I just don't like it. So ideally if yeah. I could sleep through my flight, it's, it's the best plan. Yeah, I totally, I get that. I, I can fall asleep pretty like instantly in a car because I used to play in like a punk band and we would drive really far and I would just pass out like instantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fall asleep in cars. We, we, when we did the Reboot Road Show, we drove a lot. Um, and I'd always be like, I'll drive, I'll help drive. And then they'll be like, all right, but you, we'll start driving. You can maybe help when we, when, uh, you know, a couple hours into the trip and then I'll fall asleep and they won't wake me because, and they were making fun of me because Kevin, you know, Kevin started talking about it on tour. He'd be like, you know, we get th 20 minutes into the ride and I'd be like, I'll help, I'll help. And then 20 minutes later, I'd be like, you know, oh, yeah. in the back seat <laughs> asleep. So it's nice to meet you. You too. You and it's too. Uh, awesome to have you on the stream here today. Thank you. And then Douglas Bogard. Yep. Welcome to the stage. Thanks, man. I'm the, uh, <laughs> I'm the co-founder of Limited Run. Jason, I just wanted to say uh, my co-founder, Josh and I, we're a... Uh, We've been friends since sixth grade in 2000 and uh we bonded over a lot of kevin smith movies so like we've been big fans of yours for a long time and we had a little fight at the end of 2005 when we were in our senior year of high school and we stopped being friends for a while and then clerks 2 came out and there's that whole bit at the end of the movie where dante and randall talk about how you know he, you're my friend and i i need you in my life yeah and basically if it weren't for clerks 2 josh and i wouldn't have reconciled oh that's awesome man yeah Love so, hearing that. So you guys reconciled and then you guys started hanging again and now you guys have this. Yep. Love it. It's uh, it's interesting. Again, I love, it's, it's something I honestly love about, I didn't plan on doing, you know, the movie. It, it's not something I planned. Kevin said, oh, I wrote a part for you and all that. And I had no idea, like just from me watching movies, of course, as a kid and, and all that, I enjoyed movies and all that, but I didn't realize I never had a movie that really hit me like that as a kid. Um, and then after we started doing our movies, I love hearing, uh, you know, hearing all these stories. You know, I hear a bunch from uh, people in the military about how uh, important the movies were when they're out stationed out in Iraq and Afghanistan, all these places, you know, because they had like three movies and Clerks was one of them or Jay and Bob was another you know, so just stuff like that. And you, like you just said, your story, um, I had no idea, you know, movies uh, and uh, and even better, our movies would have such an impact on people in different ways. So it's pretty awesome. Awesome. All awesome. Right. So wait, now here's a here's a uh, serious question now, a real serious one. Have you beaten this game yet? <laughs> Me, I've only gotten about three fourths of the way through. Uh, I after you get past the the part where you're in the carts, I uh, I took a break for a while because uh, I was like, holy crap! Yeah, I couldn't even so get past the carts. I have not got past the carts, Kevin. 
and myself. I don't know if Kevin has uh, since him and I tried, but we were stuck on those cards. Uh, so frustrating. Um, and I really want to see the rest. And I've only seen the rest because um, I have a friend who played it. And literally, the first time he played it, he beat the whole thing in like 90 minutes. He's like one of those kids, you know? So, Jay, how's your day going? It's good. It's very good. I woke up and got my, my uh, six-year-old ready for school. She's, uh, her name's Logan, but I got her ready for school. And then I started streaming uh I guess it was almost nine o'clock, and and we played some um, Hunt Showdown. Every Wednesday, I've been playing this oh. game, Hunt Showdown, with uh, a, a gentleman named uh, Grandfather Hermit. He's a uh, he's really good at the game, and uh, and this my other friend Matt found to be missing. Um, we we've, we've been playing every Wednesday. I sort of have a schedule. I try to stay on schedule, but every Wednesday, I've been almost every Wednesday playing Hunt Showdown, and then Fridays I play Fortnite. Um, and then the other days I, I sort of mix up and uh, do Apex and Call of Duty. and uh, But so far, so good, man. It's been a good morning. What have you I, been uh, streaming for? Uh, I've been on uh, Twitch for two years. And then I streamed on, I was stream, started streaming on Facebook. I was on Facebook for a year. And then uh, now two years for Twitch. So three years. Yeah. Oh, are you going to ask Douglas? Oh, I was just going to say with your six-year-old, do you... Does, does she help you build Legos yet or? Oh that's yeah. Still pretty, that's awesome. Yeah, she loves, she, you know, there's certain Legos she really digs, but she loves, she likes building them, but more so she just can't help but wanna tear things off of like, <laughs> you know, there's a pizza box that you put in the Lego for like the little, you know, pizza stand. She can't help but pull the box off and then play with it with her characters. And uh, she digs it, she digs it. She loves this little city I have over here. Um, and I just got a new one too. I got the police station, but I'm, I'm not kidding you. Like it, uh, when I was putting all these Legos, uh, I realized that I have to have, there's way I've spent way too much money on Legos is what I was about to oh, say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm thinking about taking apart some of them and just putting them back in like Ziplocs with the instructions. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know, I know people have done that. I've seen some things for sale, but I don't know. It ruins it for me. I need it brand new and fresh. For it. I love opening that manual and smelling it brand new. And now that's, tart. That, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I totally get you. That's that's my whole thing with physical video games. I love opening it and smelling it. Yeah, it's a weird thing to say, but comic books too. They all have that paper <laughs> smell. Collectors get it though. Yeah. All yeah, we collectors, are, we get it. <laughs> yeah, actually, the room I'm in right now, we used to do, uh, well, we still do, and we do trading cards with all our releases that are like the Marvel cards in the 90s. And uh, this room literally used to be the trading card room, and it smelled like an old comic book store. And it was amazing. What, like, and we would just, we would come in here and just like inhale for a while to feel better. <laughs> it's, it's uh, it, again, it is such a weird smell. Uh, it's a weird thing to say out loud, but it, it, it's true. I like lo it's such a weird smell, but like it brings back that like nostalgic, like, I, I don't know, there's something about it. What is behind you? I was going to ask, are those DVDs and video games or? I guess this is my uh, co-founder's game collection. So like behind me is, uh, he has a full Dreamcast set. He's got a full Sega CD, Sega Saturn. He's got a lot of full Sega stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then there's a full N64 set as well. It's pretty pretty wild. Do you have Neo Geo? Yes, uh, we we both have pretty complete Neo Geo pocket stuff, but Neo Geo itself it's a little more sparse because they're so expensive. They oh even now, huh? Uh, do you uh, you yeah. might I only had one friend who bought them way back in the day when it first came out. He had saved money. He he was a dishwasher at a restaurant. Um, he saved all his money. For when it came out and i remember that the you know i remember the the game console was something like 600 700 bucks and i remember the cartridges were something like 150 a piece like 150 dollars or something crazy um oh, they're, like, I, they're like a thousand now they are huh i was gonna uh, yeah. like uh, again i but most systems like the besides the uh neo geo uh, is nintendo and a lot of the older consoles aren't like that, right? Usually you could buy a bunch for cheaper. Is Neo Geo the only, or am I wrong? Are all the consoles uh, collectors? And 
a few years ago that would have been true but ever especially since covid uh people are collecting now and the prices for even like more basic games have gone up in price um but there's still nothing nothing compares to the neo geo prices yeah you won't you won't, enc you won't encounter that yeah you're the force is this guy cool <laughs> in your life uh yeah 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 i mean he's a very nice guy very nice guy <laughs> everyone honestly everyone that we've dealt with uh in all the movies over the years there has there hasn't been anybody that um you know there's definitely people that aren't as friendly like maybe they're not like coming out and chatting with you about things um but they're not mean like i really haven't run into anybody that like that i'm like oh man i have to do a scene with so and so and he's so rude and obnoxious yeah. or whatever the case may be like we we've had uh i feel pretty lucky about most of the people i've worked with i still think it's awesome. wild that michael rooker was in mall rats and you know now he's famous for guardians and uh walking dead yeah and it's like the first time i ever saw him he was the guy who ate the chocolate pretzel or chocolate covered pretzel yep yeah well i had seen him <laughs> the reason kevin wanted him and that i had seen him in something before that he's i guess he had done a few things but the one thing i saw is he was in a movie called Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, and he's and it's a really good movie and it's uh it was before Mallrats and and Kevin had shown me he's like you got to see this movie and we watched it. It was really good and then like, you know, years later he's in Mallrats and I was like, "Oh my gosh, that's the dude." You know, and then yes, then he's uh, you know, of course, Walking Dead and and uh, Guardians and and uh good for him, man. It's it's awesome. This part was really hard for me in the beginning because the down and up and, but if you bust that garbage can, you get some food, right? Yeah, I think so. You got to get to that can. Oh no, sir. Um, I wish I had some way to set up and <clears throat> we could dual dually it up, you know. But hi, Josh. Hello, <laughs> can hear kind of. It's my uh, my co-founder. Hello, oh the the other guy, that guy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I didn't want to live with the regret of not showing up on this stream. Uh, I'm sure Douglas is probably. Uh, I don't know. Am I getting picked up on that? Yeah, it's right yes. here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me let me put that on. And then I'll... Douglas has said some nasty things about you, bro. Yeah, yeah, he uh, does that shit. I'm just kidding. He's, he's, he's a jerk. Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure he said some stuff, but uh, I told him yeah. our story. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we go way back with you know, like one of the basic building blocks of our friendship was Kevin Smith's movies. So, you know, yeah. you're a big part of our life, and you know, working on this game was kind of an insane, awesome experience, and you know, really, I don't even know how to put that into words, like how cool it was to be able to to do this thing and to. Uh, I feel like I'm fanboying out here to a weird degree. Like I'm probably yeah. creeping you out, but not at all, not at all, not at all. It's funny because it's delayed, but you're not at all. This is it's awesome. And again, you told me about uh, your guys break up and then make up. So it's awesome. And I was telling him, uh, you know, it's it's awesome to hear things like that about uh, Kevin's movies and about our movies. And I mean, I say our movies, but they're really Kevin's movies. But um, it is great to hear all, all the cool things that that's happened over the years with this stuff. It, it's you know it's it's surreal to me. So, but this is your room. Is that what you're saying? This is your room right here with all the you have the Neo Geo and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is my game collection. So the uh, all the insane you know just piles of games behind us is you know the the collection of games I've been building up for my entire life now. Is there your? Do you have a favorite game and and console? Uh, favorite console is the Dreamcast. Uh, the the favorite game of, of all time probably Fantasy Star Online. Share that game with Douglas. We used to play that all the time. So um, we watch Kevin Smith movies and then play PSO. Yeah, I mean we would run around, you know, quoting you know J quotes on Fantasy Star Online and you know just spamming them with the the keyboards. So love it. Uh, love it. Yeah, that that the, you know this is just whole life worth of games here have you guys played this <laughs> game as two player mode together uh, yeah that's that's we how we, you know that would actually you know it's the only way we've ever beaten the uh the shopping cart oh level. the shopping cart i was telling him i haven't got pa uh past that yet 
You got to do it on two player. That's the only way we were able to make it. Cause when I would fuck up, he would pick up the slack and uh, get the other like leg of the way through. And I think the mechanics work the same where like eventually the other player's health will come back. So we'll come back in. So you can kind of, you know, in two player you get more yeah. leeway to screw up.